this is Josie from firstthecoffee.com and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to crochet the extended washcloth. This pattern uses the single crochet stitch and the extended single crochet stitch. It is a great pattern for all skill levels and if you aren't sure how to do the extended crochet stitch we will be going over how to do that in this tutorial. For this pattern you're going to need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. It can also be a good idea to use some stitch markers, especially if you like them to help you keep track of your row count. You also need a small skein of worsted weight cotton yarn. I've used the Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn. I find this to be really good for washcloths and dishcloths because it's nice and thick and heavy. All the information for this washcloth along with the written pattern is available on my website and I'll provide a link for that in the description below along with links for all the items needed to make the washcloth. Now the finished size of this washcloth is 8 inches by 8 inches and although gauge isn't important for these types of crochet patterns, if you do like to have a gauge to work with, a 4 inch by 4 inch swatch in this single crochet stitch is 16 inches wide by 17 rows tall. And depending on the tension that you use, it will take somewhere between 65 and 70 yards of cotton yarn to make this washcloth. Okay, to start the washcloth, you're going to want to make a slip knot and you want to chain 31 stitches. And if you do want to change the size of the washcloth, you can make the foundation chain any length that you would like, just add one stitch onto the end of that. Okay, once you have your foundation chain made, for row one, you're going to want to start doing a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So one and two. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through again. You're going to want to do a single crochet all the way across, and that'll give you 30 stitches. Starting in the next chain, just insert your hook and do a single crochet. Then just do that all the way across. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back here once you've completed row one. Okay, once you've completed row one, row two is going to be the extended single crochet stitch. So what you're going to want to do to start row two is to chain one and then turn your work over. This is not going to count as an initial stitch. We're going to be working in this first stitch here. So to do your extended single crochet, just insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. That'll give you two loops on your hook yarn over, pull through just that first loop, and then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on the hook. And then you're going to want to do the same thing in the next stitch. So just insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And then just do that all the way across the row. And then you'll do the same exact things for rows three and four. So go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back here when you've completed row four. Okay, once you have completed row four, rows five, six, and seven are going to be the single crochet stitch. So to start row five, you're going to want to chain one, and then turn your work over. And this is not going to count as a stitch. We're going to be working in this first stitch here. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both for a single crochet. 
do the same in the next stitch and continue that on through the rest of the row and repeat this for row six and seven too and go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back here once you've completed row seven okay once you've completed row seven going back into row eight and carrying through row 20 it's going to go back to using the extended single crochet stitch so to start your next row in row eight you're going to want to chain one and turn your work around and then working again in this first stitch do an extended single crochet and keep doing that all the way across and you're going to repeat this all the way through row 20 so go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back here once you've finished row 20. Okay, once you've finished row 20, we're going to go back into doing the single crochet stitch. So for the sake of getting this video tutorial filmed and edited in time, I haven't done the full 20 rows, but where you will have worked up to is from here to here. Okay, for rows 21, 22, and 23, you're going to go back to using the single crochet stitch. So to start row 21, you're going to want to chain one, turn your work over, and then starting in this first stitch, do a single crochet, and just continue that on down the row, and repeat that for rows 22 and 23. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back here when you've completed row 23. Okay, once you've finished row 23, you will have worked from here all the way up to here on your pattern. So for the next three rows, rows 24 through 26, we're going back to using the extended single crochet stitch. So you'll want to chain one, turn your work over, and then starting in that first stitch, do an extended single crochet stitch. Just repeat that for each stitch in the row. And do that for this row in row 25 and 26. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back here once you've finished row 26. Okay, once you've finished row 26, the next row, row 27, is the final row. And you'll go back to using the single crochet stitch. So just chain one, turn your work over, and starting in this first stitch, do a single crochet, and just continue that for each stitch all the way across. And once you've completed row 27, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends.